and welcome to the Froggy Days, the first international e-congress about passive myofunctional rehabilitation with Froggy Mouth. My name is Guillaume Felus, and I am here with my dad, Dr. Patrick Felus, who is the creator of this revolutionary device, but also of this new philosophy and approach. He is the reason of why we are here today on a Saturday morning and then afternoon. All together, supported by an extraordinary technical team that unfortunately you cannot see, with 20 translators that will simultaneously translate 26 speakers, and with all of you, more than 7,000 practitioners coming from over 100 countries all over the world. And for this, we would like to personally thank all of you. But, Monsieur Mon Père, I know some of our international followers are not that familiar with your work. Could you please quickly explain us what is this passive approach that you were also calling in your latest book, the Anoetic Approach? Hello, my son, and hello to everybody. I am indeed working since a dozen of years on this passive approach. Passive is not the opposite of active. It is what does not require an active participation. The patient is rehabilitated without even being aware of what's going on. That's why I was choosing the word anoetic to be more accurate. It was what Tulving, a famous neuroscientist, described as a state of memory where there is no consciousness of knowing or in these cases of being rehabilitated. He called it the unknowing knowing and that allows us to have quick, efficient and especially more stable results. It's the application of those neuroscientific and clinical knowledges in our daily practice of orthodontics, dentistry, myofunctional therapy, but also many other fields that we will discover today all day long. So welcome again to everyone that maybe has just joined us right now. Welcome also on the amazing VFIERS platform that you will be able to discover all over the day. And especially welcome to the froggy days. Monsieur Mon Père, I let you the honor of the launch. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare the froggy days open. We are live. Hello to everybody. I have something to confess to you. They were not in life. But you right now, behind your screen, me right now in front of you, we are both in live and ready to have a wonderful day of Congress with more than 25 lectures. So today, you will attend the Froggy Days. Maybe that you are already on the platform, maybe that you are on the Zoom. If it is the case, don't forget to enjoy the full experience of the Froggy Days by going to visit the VFIRS platform, where you will be able to see the full program of the day, to chat on the lobby with the speakers and with other attendees, and also to go visit the exhibit hall. You will have all the information that will appear right now in the chat. Something also very important, this day is live translated in more than five languages. I think that it's right there that you are having the little interpreters uh, widgets that you can click on to choose in which language you want to hear the comments. But right now, I think that it is directly the moment to go and have our first speaker that will arrive with me on stage. I am super glad to have as opening lecture, the lecture of Dr. Patrice Bergeron. He will be speaking to you today about the aesthetic and functional open bites and how and why it is so important to have functional treatments during those treatments. Patrice is a pioneer of orthodontics. Since 20 years, he was a genius of all the fields that he was touching, pediatric orthodontics, 
but also especially aligners, where he was one of the first people in Europe to develop this technique. That's why he was one of the founding members of the SOPA, the French Authentic Aligner Society. And he's also right now the president of the French Pediatric Orthodontic Society. Patrice, I think that you are right now joining us in the live. I am so glad to be able to tell you that you may start your lecture and start those froggy days. Patrice, it is your turn to speak. Hello. Hello, Guillaume. Yes, uh, thanks, uh, Guillaume, to, to, to invite me uh, to this crazy uh, Congress. So I'm really happy to be a part of your Congress and uh, uh, to be the beginner, you know, to... to... Uh, you can speak in English. There is no problem that we have interpreters. I'm glad. I'm glad to start this Congress and uh, this uh, Froggy Day. It is clear... It is clear that it is very important because our job is to move the the, the teeth, and uh, and the, it is great that we have now tools and we have also uh, appliances that can move the, the 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 teeth and the patient can understand that. But if we can understand that, if we have the strength to move the teeth, it must this teeth must be in balance in a muscular area and the muscular are very important for the movement of the teeth and orthodontics and for the stability and uh, we have to include the functional the the permanent functional functionality and we hope that orthodontics um, uh, um, provides a better stability a better understanding of the patient um, of his teeth and uh, his tooth and also improving all the functionalities. It goes without uh, saying that Froggy Days is something that is original uh, and I would like to thank uh, Patrick Fepus, Femus not only for this magic idea and the patient he has for orthodontists, uh, pediatric orthodontics, but also as uh, I would like to thank him as a special world specialist to have devoted his life to children and uh, to have this great idea to move about the functions and uh, to about, talk about the re lingual uh, re-education and to find a passive way that means in to find an idea to help us to eventually improve this management of the functions and uh, to better understand uh, his interest for the orthodontics. So I'm orthodontist in Geneva and um, I studied in France. My specialty at the University of Lille is uh, uh, which is called the University of Sesmo. Since then, I am, I am specialized in uh, pediatric orthodontics uh, at the university in 2001 in, um, after the uh, lingual orthodontics. And that helped me better understand this movement of, love, movement of teeth and uh, lingual uh, movement. Uh, this helped me also to set up treatment and thanks to some functions. I wrote a book about the orthodontics in uh, Acheta, which is the uh, orthodontics of the smile and uh, to see how to better manage uh, the, the pre-qualification of the treatments, which are quite important right now. Uh, so, So the uh, function, the passive functional re-education, I think it's something great. It is an evolution, and it's the evolution of the neuroscience. You have this beautiful image, which is the result, the outcome. And uh, we will share our experience on clinical cases to understand how really we manage these appliances um, and how I am uh, in the therapeutic side. So my main office is, uh, is, uh, is in Geneva. I have also an academy and a training center which is at the heart of uh, Geneva in the biggest street. Of course you are all invited to visit my academy and to my office and to share your experience to exchange in this orthodontics that is in a, a, a continuous movement. Um, 
Of course, most of the time we say that everything starts with in uh, diagnostics, win orthodontics. And in, in addition to the clinical cases that I'm going to present, we have to understand it's through the diagnosis that we'll be able to manage the quality of the treatment. I created 12 years ago a company called a Society, which is the Antenna Society for the Cosmetic, uh, cosmetic Orthodontics Science, with, through the smile. You know, the, 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 the patients uh, are interested in the smile because we see the harmony, but also the dysfunctions, lingual dysfunctions. And I wrote that uh, in my book. And uh, I wrote uh, uh, also 100 points regarding the future of orthodontics. There are a lot of images. They have also, it's a really great pleasure to exchange with Guillaume, with his team, because they are at the top of the technology and the state of the art. And uh, through also digital, uh, it, they create, they create a, a momentum. I have also a free YouTube channel. You can go there. You will find a lot of information about what I'm working on. But also, if you want to be friend with me in Facebook, I'm still uh, accessible. Let's say I'm a Patrice Bergeron Orthodontics. I, I, you know, I share all my uh, events through Facebook. It is called Patrick Bergeron Orthodontics. Uh, uh, please ask to be my friend and I will be very happy to add you and in those areas. So it is one of the first uh, di uh, diagnosis, the, 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 one of the slides. The uh, orthodontics is uh, through the sim sim uh, uh, through the intervention, through the uh, the unmanaged uh, help us to provide a diagnosis. Diagnostic represents seventy percent of the overall therapy, and in fact, the uh, the appliance represents five percent. In fact, more the uh, diagnostic is optimized and the appliance will be efficient and will allow, uh, and I will add something else, when the appliance is, a, we ha don't have one appliance, we have various appliances, they follow each other and that help us to uh, add the functionality of the therapeutics. If we look at the uh, orthodontic therapeutic over time, we will try to understand how I reached to this uh, result. So all during all my education, my specialty, uh, we had this obsession to create the uh, uh, this harmony uh, to be functional that is represented through these uh, these pictures. It is uh, it is to create a balance balance. It is one of criteria currently, maybe because due to the appliance, we always focused on this um, uh, uh, the uh, this open bites. And if you see the that you see the, the you have the relationship also between the mandibles man, man, mandibles and if we see the relationship between the show the gum the tongue a lot of things have evolved over time and all this information are not enough but they need it the, those are no more enough to create a beautiful smile and um, functional and a cosmetic or aesthetic uh, smile we have to add the transversal element and uh, the element transversal in the smile is because I mean, a fundamental element that we need from the beginning to look for. And now this uh, quest of beauty, and we can see here the face, this, um, this, uh, this person who is known uh, uh, in 2020, and what are the criteria uh, for this patient are looking now. It's uh, of beauty, but from our side, it's those criteria are objective and that must cater for, um, cater for their needs. So it is very important to add all the whole uh, face and to correct the vertical side and the long face syndromes and, uh, and all the uh, functional scheme. And from the outset, attract to integrate, we have to integrate the smile and the position of the teeth uh, between the, between the lips and in the picture right uh, you see this beautiful smile and this tongue that comes really good that the tongue that is in, in added to this uh, face this shape of the face so this criteria we developed it uh, we developed 100 points that are well coordinated that helps not only to have a good di great di diagnostic but also to integrate this morphology uh, this uh, aesthetic and uh, of the functional system uh, while keeping in mind that behind the ma max maxillar we have uh, steroids we have the the skull and all behind that you have all the osteopathic 
physiotherapy, you have the therapeutics, the physiotherapeutics, uh, we have an anesthetist, and uh, we have to understand that behind there is an organization, it is a teamwork, and that bones are related, everyone also, and uh, in the growth and their function, once again, uh, we, uh, we have to work as much as possible and to find the balance as soon as possible, this overall balance, and to understand eventually this anatomy, this anatomy of the patient. Um, uh, we have the structural system, but we see in these pictures that on the left side picture, these muscles, this, um, this uh, dental arc creates an uh, pressure and if we can move a teeth with the 20 30 degrees this pressure due to the overall system must be in a balance and this strength that are developed by the teeth must be within the face the the head and also the head the eyes can be uh, that can be done in a harmonized way, manner in order to find this balance of course uh, behind all that, we have the tongue, and the tongue is this tongue which represents uh, until 100 grams, 100 grams, this muscles be, be, be in the 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 bones and uh, and life. I like this idea of Patrick in his re-education, in his position, the lingual position of uh, uh, in the maxillaries. He accelerated. Um, this system, this functional system, and uh, we have to understand that anatomically the, the tongue is present and all this is present and the permanent per per discussion like the swallowing, the language, and uh, and that they, they make a pressure and those must have, uh, we will, uh, that, that must create an overall balance. We have also to take the nerves. Nerves are related to the brain and, uh, so, and uh, we have to understand that um, Patrick Felus, Patrick Felus understood that behind we must to develop the neuroscience and neuroscience itself had uh, uh, have an action on this balance and uh, and uh, that's uh, sometimes an appliance can seem simple but it's the result of a, a complex thinking of a, a rationale that help us to find this balance and you can see in this uh, short video that I will try to uh, share with you I will try to download the video. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it. Uh, and I will ensure that this is on my screen. I hope to share it with you. Guillaume, I don't know if you if uh, can do it. You know, uh, guys, uh, we are, uh, we are uh, live. I am not in the spot. I'm in Geneva, but uh, we are I hope that you can see my video. At least on my screen. I will try to share it. I think, yes, you can see it. Yes, you can see it. So the fact that uh, to move a little bit the lips and to see this patient uh, who in fact cannot create this, uh, uh, c c cannot move, they cannot swallow. And uh, we have to change the mus muscle muscles and the muscular system in order to uh, set in place the teeth and uh, the lib libial system. We want to ensure that these permanent pressure that is made is made in a balance that allows uh, to have the balance of our therapeutics. So Guillaume, if you are still here and if everyone is here with me, I hope that you keep up with me. So without further ado, we will try to um, uh, integrate uh, these uh, fundamental criteria that are um, the structural balance on the profile picture of the maxillary mandible maxillar to avoid the compensations. Uh, Patrice, we can still see your video if you can just bring back your presentation. In here in this picture, you can see the integration of our uh, occlusion criteria uh, in the basics. Uh, we have the transversal effect on the teeth, the balance, omnibular balance, the integration, um, uh, the 
w that goes into the, the 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 brain we can also include the smile the the tongue the neuroscience that will allow the passive re-education to organize everything it's not so, as simple and uh, for 18 years, I'm trying to find a structural organization that should allow with the patient to try to uh, have a good structure. I set up a software on how from 12 pictures try to integrate uh, those criteria in a quite logical way. And I think it's quite important before starting uh, to see clinical cases to understand and to react better. Because sometimes the technology, either the aligners or the plant that seems easy, must be the fruit of a thinking, deep thinking and deep reflection. It is the diagnosis. It's about the diagnostic. And in a clinical case like this one, where we understand maybe that uh, there there is a, an open bite. There is a um, uh, omnibular. Um, uh, there's, there is a um, um, uh, the canines. Uh, the uh, uh, there is deviations. Uh, there is uh, labial smiles. How to include all these criteria and try to find the best uh, best treatment for this uh, patient? I will uh, share with you again once again. Um, uh, video and how I can summarize this uh, diagnostic that sometimes is complicated to understand and from there uh, we can work uh, this so first of all we take the the face because we have to rip to change the long face syndrome and to integrate the vertical morphological vertical face to find a balance of the three steps or layers and to understand that uh, over time and age the tongue is not doing its work and it's uh, bothered kind of and uh, try to the lingual effects and the internal uh, the uh, upper and um, uh, upper and lower um, uh, open bites and every time at points like a sebomometrics is added, the software is going to make a diagnosis about the deep bite. There is a disharmonization that the libial and gingival smile. We will try to concretely but never forget that after the evidence, after the proof, after this inter, this lack of harmony that at the end of the treatment we do not have to uh, uh, to, to to work we don't have to work on only one point we have to provide uh, we will be judged at the end on various criteria that everything taken we we have to take occlusion and uh, uh, as you can see we have uh, we have the we have a cluster asymmetric with the opening of the of the open bite on the left and on the side and centric and we have a center on the and the we have to take the patient on the left and uh, if we have a um, and if we have a, uh, uh, if we have an open bite on the left we have to understand and that it is a problem of morphological issue, we have to change the morphology, first of all, to deal with the dysmorphologic and uh, the uh, maximal mobular uh, issues while integrating the position of the smile. And in the same time, we're telling to the tongue, you have a new framework, and in this framework, you can find a balance. We integrated the face and the smile, and the tongue will be through the system of re passive for education, which is made in the same time, which is uh, sometimes we use it many times a day, you can the tongue and you can look at the screen and uh, you can be in a new context because the context is going to change. And if our analysis is taking the libial, we can see this tongue below, which is going beyond the molars and needs a context. First of all, what do we need to change? That's why isn't the pediatric orthodontics is very important because first of all we have to change the shape we have to change the content for the tongue itself will be well positioned because it's very difficult to do it and uh, all of a sudden you can see that in software we have series of 12 organized pictures and all the issues that are morphologic the teeth 
it's the cosmetic, visual, and uh, face, and uh, so on. We take them into consideration, and we take also in consideration the labial uh, says because it has been renamed and help us to integrate them. Uh, into again. But at each step, we want to show the patient what is happening, to show the real possibilities, because we don't have the same possibilities for a child or an adult, and to show the lateral uh, triangles, these asymmetrics, the asymmetric, vertical asymmetric in the smile, and from there, uh, to explain to the patient the uh, uh, appliances and uh, here to organize the organize the system. Uh, one of the important elements here is to integrate the face and the smile. And here you have a profile, which is one of the most important pictures of my analysis. In order to see the lip, the upper lip, the lower lip, to position the tip. And you have the tongue, you have the bone, you have all these parts that are behind. And we, they should, uh, from the beginning, integrate to the treatment. And we, all of a sudden, will show the face on the, to the profile of the patient, integrate this uh, X-ray and this uh, cephalometric for the patient to understand this position of the teeth and this maxillary position is related to this lingual position and understand our posture and to understand that the, uh, the patient has a facial uh, balance and as soon as we will uh, sup uh, to put the to, to put the face and the, uh, and the, the we can reframe it and show to the patient this Quite a, quite a structural picture that is easy to understand and it allows to the patient to participate to the treatment to integrate the appliances, either it is morphological appliances, dental and functional. So most of the time I will have an appliance, for example, for young children, they call it the RCC that is working on the uh, molar and uh, the maxillaire also. And we will use the appliance, dental appliance, it can be for braces and, uh, and the smilers. And, uh, uh, we have also the picture, panoramic picture. That uh, we are, since we are dentists, we have to keep this extraordinary tool that allows to see the evolution of the teeth. If we have an agenesis, if we have a, a tooth that has issues in development or asymmetric development, and we see a good addition to the information. We have uh, asymmetrics of the teeth. We have molars who are existing, and we have different morphologies. So we will receive uh, 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 feedback, detailed feedback for the patient that will allow to the patient to understand that it will allow also to integrate directly the therapeutics and um, to get into or to enter a treatment, a full treatment, a comprehensive treatment to be more efficient. So we will go back to this patient, young patient, uh, and that I will try to reshare with you once again. Uh, Guillaume, are you still with me? Is the is the technical team with me? Because I know that here in Geneva we have a marathon, the Marathon of Geneva. Uh, it is an important day in the life of the city. It is the 40 day, 40 days also. For we have the Marathon of Geneva and we have the 40 days. So you have this uh, appliance. We will try. Uh, one second, uh, Guillaume. We do not see your slides. Thank you. Guillaume. I think you still see the case. You can have the picture with the RCC of the froggy mouse at this first step where we try to change the morphology of the patient. As soon as the morphology of the patient is changed at the same time that it is a changed from the lingual uh, treatment. So the uh, uh, Patrick, with Patrick, we try to put uh, uh, to, we try to understand the bone, the gum, uh, and uh, um, and the puck, and we try to change the lingual position and the position of the teeth and the choose the inclusion and the position of the teeth. And here during the treatment, we have centered everything. That's the first step. And the second is the finalization. So the long, the tongue, we can say in asymmetrics. So it is like in a lingual interposition that is asymmetric. And then we finalize uh, uh, that will become to, cl that to close the, the uh, open bite. And this integration of this morphological issue, this functional issue, this 
occlusal issue and this uh, cosmetic issue that provides the quality of the orthodontics treatment of tomorrow. And maybe it will be needed because the patient currently will request uh, will request to integrate all these elements as in as part of the therapeutics and to have a result that is completely uh, comprehensive. Of course, it's very interested as much as possible to uh, re-educate uh, as much as, as soon as possible because at the end, if you look at this child here who is four years uh, years old, we can see the open bite with the dysfunction. We see the, the, the mouth uh, breathing then I don't know how to tell you that, but I think that now the orthodontics will be back to a symbology that is uh, overhausted of the clinical st uh, studies in order to understand uh, the causes of the asymmetrics. And it's not because we're dealing with the asymmetric that we are getting the uh, global or uh, um, uh, overall asymmetric. Uh, uh, you know, I did, um, you have to the morphics is kind of a balance, maxillo, functional, uh, man mandibular, uh, maxillo, mandibular. And uh, now, out of the cosmetic, there is um, there is uh, an open bite that is affecting the structural balance of the the patient. And as you can see, this child who is with open bite, uh, of course, everyone will say, yes, everything will change over the time. But uh, I, when this child will come back one year later, we are still the open bite. And when a child is growing, we realize that uh, the open bites remain present. And uh, only the therapeutics and the integration of the morphology of the function will allow to correct and helps from the beginning for the this patient to have good habits because this re-education the passive or active rehabilitation because the word has existed with, with our partners this rehabilitation and either it is a doctrine this rehabilitation must be or requires the cooperation of all the stakeholders we will see various cases like this one which is a different case but it is the same with the diagnosis we we have 12 pictures, we integrate these three pictures, uh, the asymmetrics, the medium, the labial side, we integrate all this morphology and we put our appliance uh, in the 3D that is also uh, programmed at the sliders. This uh, re functional re-education and we see the arch. Uh, we would that uh, a small, that a, um, a bit damaged, and uh, so we're going to have a treatment of restructuration to have the natural structure of the teeth again. And uh, the um, earlier, the better, so that we have a morphological treatment, a functional treatment. And then three years later, once it's been um, changed and uh, it, everything is stable, we know we're going the right direction. Um, then we know that this orthodontic treatment is going to be balanced and stable so that as soon as we have a dysfunction, a dysmorphology um, and a disclosure, we need to proceed. And this is the um, long-term advantage uh, of orthodontics to treat children when they have a dysmorphosis. And as professionals, our task is to offer to all children in the entire world a therapeutic method with the aesthetics of a smile. So I think also this um, helps to have a better life. It's, uh, it's public health. This um, orthodontcy, uh, pediatric orthodontcy is an improvement to life and uh, Mark Miller is going to be here later and also are the, are the act, um, people speaking after me or the speakers all of these brilliant people who have integrated this uh, functionist system in orthodontcy on a worldwide basis and I am so proud to be able to work with these specialists as well and once we have this balance I um, mean here of course we have old-fashioned um, material because in 1999 
I used to work a multi bag, so I worked with multi bag, and then I used uh, the uh, D way, um, and uh, then we try and treat it without extraction to find an equilibrium with the patient. Global, uh, contrary to when I started. So in this treatment, I stopped the multi-bag and uh, used the spiders, but to integrate the natural area and to balance this, which is a lot more work. And I use the same principle, the same code, which allows me to have a natural um, alignment of the teeth. Let's have a look at the other cases of, uh, for example, this child where we see the hyperdivergence. And here we've got quite a big um, gap, one centimeter. And let's see how we can have this contraction, a lip contraction. And this is uh, my work. And uh, then we have um, an interest conflict here, but I decided to place this at this uh, my disposition uh, for the um, and to be able to help them to describe it for the patient and to integrate all of this. So you see the um, tongue that interposes itself, uh, the before and after where we can really see this appearance and we don't just uh, place the brace and pull to the teeth we didn't put any elastic bands in the mouth or anything and uh, so there was no um um uh, you know that we had an orthopedic brace to be able to have a posterior rotation that we can see here with the branches that are very, very short. So we get this permits a change in mutation. So we've got a hyperdivergence with a normal diversion. And uh, here we have a balance on the face. And if we look at this, and this is a comfort for the mouth, and we restructure the system, we re-educate the tongue, and then we come back into a natural equilibrium. It's absolutely incre um, incredible to watch this. And once you've done this, once you've started this, you're going to do it all the time. Why? Because we always get results, and there's a hundred percent improvement, to correction, and a hundred percent improvement of the integration of the morphological functional system. And you see here a case of the tongue and the face, and if you see my diagnostics, you see that I insist upon the face, the balance of the face, and I look at the patient, and you can see that even class two dentistry, there is no um, um, brace. It's just the restructuration with the RCC that is going to come on to the um, mouth with the rotation, with the maxillary, and the muscles come back. And uh, the froggy mouth has restructurized this. The patient comes there, and um, we have uh, the second treatment of orthodonty with the uh, superposition, the canine, the lateral part, uh, top part. Uh, I stop the extractions, you know, these uh, programmed extractions. And uh, then we um, have th this, and uh, then we go back to some studies. Before I had uh, a laboratory with a software where one uh, foreign student was studying there and uh, made all the analysis. So during that time, we had, I mean, we worked a lot about the, on the air strap and the structure and uh, so on and for the global comprehension of the system so here we see uh, the dimension of um, the tonsils and uh, also on the nasal respiration the equilibrium which is possible 
and uh, here we also have actions on these filters which are uh, being disrupted disturbed when we have a, such a um appearance we've got a, um a bigger absence than well, if you have the absence of uh, teeth and our treatment is a lot more global than this one so here another case here where we can clearly see this appearance and this integration which allows the, the from this first step on uh, where the uh, c lateral has not put, been up and we've got this uh, alveolar and we, if we restructure the axillary, we find a, ha a global harmony that allows the patient right from the start to get rid of their um, bad habits, integrating their morphological system with a morphological change of the maxillary and a change, a positional change, a functional change, a lingual functional change which brings back the equilibrium of the patient. And there we see this equilibrium that changes with time and this first orthopedic stage, which is associated to the functions and to the alignment to reposition them. Then we're going to see a patient who is a lot, uh, slightly older because I know that we are many, many speakers and we have um, very, very interesting um, talks, but we see this uh, patient who is asymmetric on the right-hand side, and we often think about tooth extraction and the premolar extraction. I used to do them in the 19, in 60 to 70 percent of the cases, and now only six or seven. So we're going to do the distalization, but at the same time we have also a change in the arcade and a functional reduction. So we're going to uh, have a look at the change of this arcade so that there's no growth, so that we don't have uh, apnea, um, uh, sleep apnea, and we're going to program the setup. So there I use alignment smilers, smilers with a computer since um, has which is uh, since 2014, this is the new alignment with the positioning, the re-centering. So I think in 2018, I was the biggest um, deliverer of uh, this uh, design. And two years ago, I stopped everything for the Smiler to have it more rigid with an expansion, to have something stronger with better arcade, better positioning. And of course, the association of these cr three criteria change to the arcade with the uh, brace, with the lingual position, twice for two minutes, and with the smiler. So you see this system of opening and distalization allows the um, um, and we see on the timeline, the specificity of uh, smilers, which is totally new. And uh, many companies have access. We depend upon technicians. Here we have a total access to software. And I thank Philippe of uh, Croquet Dental to give, have given access to me to all these softwares and not depend upon technicians anymore and to be able to create the ideal treatment myself, whereas before I always used to depend upon somebody. So we've got less structural change that we saw previously on children because we can change the size of the mandible and the maxillary and still think about in the sense of the recentering of the teeth due to the centering and find the equilibrium that allows to see that the experience has been um, corrected without any elastic band. There's no elastic band pulling upon the teeth. I think these software, uh, marketing software, where you put these packs without understanding the patient or the diagnostics, we um, don't um, um, uh, have an impact on the teeth. That's an error. So this is not an algorithm. It's a mediary algorithm. And um, here, for example, with smilers, we have a real individual treatment conform to the diagnostics, conform to the treatment that we do with this association. With these um, um, froggy mouth elements from Patrick Silius, then uh, this allows to integrate directly 
the uh, system function, we recenter it. There is not a question, a degression of the teeth. It's very dangerous to think that appearance has been corrected systematically with uh, the. Um, um, this is really a diagnostic. Um, so I think we don't have much time during this conference. I've got to be quite fast, but you see this appearance and this uh, in, uh, incisive um, area. So we do insist upon uh, a, a surgical intervention due to this advancement. And we have different diagnosis with different results. In this case, there has not been any digression in the um, incisor. Um, and if we change the arcade, then we are in the uh, molary digression. And we're going to in ingress the inner molar and express the outer. So we have to really understand that we haven't changed the angle. We just try to reorganize the system and uh, to check the lingual pressures that uh, they themselves modify the tooth position. Uh, if we look at the smilers, then we understand that this uh, power that we put onto the teeth, this force, is less strong and there is less um, force and you can integrate it easier. Thank you so much, uh, Patrice. So we're coming to the end of the conference and uh, to the questions. So I saw that there are many, many, many questions and many people who are interested in your presentation and also the participation of what we've already talked about at the beginning and this is why we immediately now have a um, question answer session organized on the uh, chat features on uh, this um, um, platform where you can answer all the questions. You have five minutes. I'm afraid we cannot treat all the questions here. Uh, we are very short on time and uh, Dr. Uh, is going to start his conference. So, uh, first of all, uh, we're going to be here and on Facebook also uh, with a dedicated um, uh, part where people can leave their comments in the next minutes, hours, days, weeks, and months. You have been selected to uh, give a conference. You have. Thank you, thank you so much to all of you, and thank you also to Patrick. And uh, um, I am so happy to see all the others. I've already seen a panel, and uh, I'm totally honored that you permitted me to start this conference. And uh, uh, congratulations to all of you, and I wish you wonderful froggy, froggy days. Uh, I will now switch to English to let a few rest to all the interpreters that are helping us. And it is also a perfect moment to speak to you about the same aligners brand that Patrice was introducing you, which is Smilers, made by a French brand called Biotech Dental. And I am glad to be able to announce you for the first time in exclusivity right now that Frogimov and Smilers decided to make a partnership, two products made in France and two products that are really taking care of functions. I really have to say, as someone that is taking care of functions since many years that our Smilers was uh, showing us that they have a great concern about not only bringing back the teeth together, but also having a functional balance back at the end of the treatment. And you can visit their booth and ask all the questions to their experts on the booth, on the platform, the fears, on the exhibit hall.